Years ago, my friend said RuneScape has a story in its mini quest, and then I said about Final Fantasy, well, mine's got a story, it's like a complete epic movie. Because at the time I was playing Final Fantasy X, and now I can finally tell my friend in the fashion way of how Titus did his laugh is. <laughs> Morning everyone on YouTube and this is my video of my three days spent at London Comic Con. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I am still so tired but I'm gonna be bringing my Sword of Darkness props weapon as I've said and show it off as much as possible and so now the only thing left is to get up, have breakfast, wash, get dressed, get on my stuff and to meet my friends at the train station. Well I've made it here and met with my friends and we're just having a little meal in Subway until we board the train. I've got one friend dressed up from King's Mill and I've got another Star Wars and his little Yoda companion friend. Yeah. And he's plus playing as Obi-Wan Kenobi, the general version from the Clone Wars. Yeah, general from the Clone Wars, yes. And I've even got Max here, who's also Obi-Wan Kenobi, yeah. but just normal Jedi. Yeah. Oh. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi, and we've got Jedi Mafia. And of course, all my stuff is still here. Even the Sword of Darkness weapon that I know you're probably waiting for me to show off. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to record everything on the journey as much, or maybe not, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, I think he's just chatting up those cosplayers. <laughs>
cinema. Very interesting.
morning everyone and welcome back and this is day two for our trip to Comic Con and I'm with my two friends once more and of course Gary wins no Gary was here Ash is a loser <laughs> and of course Max as Doctor Who and we are one party member down but we'll be all right and just like before I'm gonna skip right ahead all the way to Comic Con so stay tuned Definitely check out her channel. She's got a fabulous voice. Oh, thank Just you. Just make your mouth water. Well, you can subscribe to me at Liana Andrews, which is L-I-A-R-N-A and then Andrews. And if none of you call all that, I would definitely link you to it. Would you like to say anything? Hello. <laughs> So I'm just going to hang around with her and hopefully we'll bump into something interesting or more people to take photos of. I 
I am physically exhausted and sweaty, but that's what you get when you wear a Green Ranger costume outside in the burning sun. Me and my group, we decided to leave Comic Con early, like 4.30. We've bought plenty of stuff, well, I haven't really. And we've just made our way back to Houston, we just bought the train. And of course, my companions are also just chilling out. Oh. Anything you wanted to say? I'm very exhausted. Very I'm exhausted. Oh, there's a guy who was here. Ash yeah, I'll zoom in. Gary was here, Ash is a loser. Thank you, Stephen. Well, there you have it. So now we are going home, and once again, like yesterday, Friday, I will skip ahead to Comic Con for Sunday tomorrow. Well, I'm back, and it is now Sunday, the third day for Comic Con, and I've got on the train a lot later in the day because it's just me traveling there, and we are just on our way right now. So, as usual, I'm going to skip right ahead to the event. Okay.
which I'll show at the end of this video. I'm not sure if I'm debating whether I should buy myself a weapon or not. But at this moment, I'm just chilling out here on my favourite place at Comic Con on top of the bridge, which I've given it the nickname Skyscraper Bridge because it sounds cool. And I'm just taking in the breeze. I am still very tired as you can see. I'm just looking into the view to the River Thames. Hey guys, I've returned back to Milton Keynes. I decided to leave quite early because I've looked around, relaxed and bought all that I needed to bought. And I just went to the casino and I just won myself 200 pounds, basically 195 pounds that I spent at the event buying a load of items, which I'll explain at the end of this video. I'm underneath a tree should not be the best place but it's now raining and just in front of me is the thunderstorm that's happening and you can see the flashes just up in the sky so I don't know if I should like run it or not I'll probably find myself an underpass or probably stay indoors who knows but check it. So all that flashing is like all the way over there. And I think the best bet for me to get home is to catch a bus. Yeah, that would be the safest thing for me to do. Look at that. 
Okay, I'm now underneath the shelter or the doorway of the escape. I just heard a large thunder noise right near me. So just in case, I didn't want to stand underneath that tree. But it is still pouring down. So I guess I'm gonna get the bus. And I'm back, viewers. Uh, the thunderstorm, the rain, it just came out of nowhere. I, so I didn't have a chance to walk home, as I've explained, and so I got myself a bus back, which I had to get ready, and then I ran all the way home. But I'm not that wet, not really. Uh, my lower part of my jacket was wet, my socks and my shoes were wet, but I'm just a little bit damp. And of course, my backpack made it. I thought it was gonna get soaked, but I used my red jacket to cover it like a sheath, sheath when I ran all the way here, with a hoodie up, of course, so that I can run. So I'm going to have a shower, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna talk to you and explain of what I did for the whole three days of Comic Con and who I've seen, what I buy. So I will be back in about, let's see, a total of uh, two and a half hours. Well, I'm back now. I've freshened up, I've had dinner, and I've relaxed, and now I can tell you about my day at Comic Con. It's no longer raining outside. I believe it has stopped, but who knows? It could probably come back again. Well, I've I've had quite another wonderful day. Friday, I just did my usual, just film and look around and try and find uh, the, my top list of the voice actor who I've been meaning to meet. I'll show you the videos after this one. And I've cosplayed, I've done my Green Ranger here and there, all over the place. And Saturday, I just got into my Green Ranger costume right away and just did a full day of walking around showing off my cosplay. And Sunday, I did a little bit of it, but the armbands they started to fall off because the glue that was holding the velcro started to come off but it's no big deal I've taken them off and I'm going to replace it and fix it by putting some new velcro to my armbands and of course use super glue to hold it in well just to show you let's see um, first thing I did is that I went and met a voice actor named James Arnold Taylor. The reason for that is he is the voice actor of Tidus from Final Fantasy X. And I just had to meet him and take some photos and even do some videos with him. Which of course, a lot of you know, but if some of you who don't, his meme on YouTube is famous for the all laughing, you know, going, ah, ha, 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 ha which is what James did when he was dubbing the character Tidus in the Final Fantasy X game. And of course I've got his autograph, which have a good look, saying, Robert, listen to my story by James Arnold Taylor, which was fantastic. I got uh, two selfies from him and also two videos. And all of that cost a total of £135, which is a lot. The autograph and the videos I really want, but the selfies, I probably should have saved my money because I could have just created some pictures by a screensaver by using um, the editing program I have with the videos that I recorded of him. I should have done that, but what the hey. Um, I also, on the very last day, Sunday, decided to do a big spend. I got myself uh, four anime DVDs. 
I got the complete first seasons of Slayers and of course the complete second series of the Slayers and of course the third series of the Slayers which all of them cost me a total of £60 so they were £20 each I was going to buy them on eBay but it's just one pence difference so it doesn't matter and of course a real rare treat I decided to get this a Hacks Root which cost me £35 which is a lot of money for this I tried to find it on Amazon, eBay, anywhere and there was no there was nothing that I could f so I decided just to spend £35 on it instead I know it was a lot of money but it was well worth it and of course the last thing I did which is buy myself another weapon and this is the Black Wolverine the Wakizashi which is the middle sized samurai sword which if you'd like to have a good look at it it is in a way a katana sword but it's not that big like a natural sword this is like the middle size length so here have a, another close look the beauty of the blade I'll try and move out of the way so you can get at least a close look so this was cheap it just cost me 100 pounds and of course uh, my friend who works on the stall decided to give me a little gift which I'll just grab it yeah he gave me one of these uh, sword cleaning kits which you use to clean your samurai swords which, although I've only used it like twice per year because I have like three or five different cleaning sets but here you got yourself the cloth one of these and spray Oop. <laughs> shit and of course some extra supplies in case you need to fix your samurai sword just put that away but it was really nice of him to give it away to me which I'm very pleased with and of course this is really funny at Comic Con there's this people that were giving away tiny cans of sugar free coca cola with one of these like a coupon which you can get yourself a free 500 millimeter bottle of zero coca-cola and although I got a couple of them because I passed by it Friday Saturday and Sunday but for the whole day I just picked up a load of them so have a look I have a total of 20 of them they were just lying on the floor and I just decided to pick them up because what the hey, you get free fizzy drink for yourself. So that's that. I met a couple of my friends while I was there. There was one who was very, let's say she was a special person to me, but it didn't go the way I wanted. But it was stable, it was normal. But I wish there was something more. And another friend of mine who I was glad to have met up with and of course um, I want to say thank you to Liana Andrews and Stephen Adams and all the other random people who I've asked them to hold on to my camera to do some recording for me I uh, thank you very much and um, if you're interested in as I've said in one of the clips that my friend Liana Andrews is also a YouTuber and she specializes in singing and she has a fantastic voice you have to hear her out 
So I will leave a link for you down below so that you can click on it and find out for yourself if she is any good or not. But it's up to you if you find out if she is good at singing or not. But do try and check her out. She really needs the subscribers and the views. But that's about all I can think of. Oh, one more thing is um, Sunday when I came back from London I didn't want to just go home for the feeling of spending £195 which is um, £95 on the anime DVDs in total and £100 on the Black Wolverine Wakizashi Samurai Sword so what I just did is just go to the casino and spent like an hour or two and just won myself 200 pounds so I didn't really spend anything <laughs> so that was fantastic and of course I was coming home until the sky looked very grim very dark and grey and it just started spitting as I was leaving the casino around 7ish so I ran back to the escape as it was coming down there was no chance for me to walk home and I was underneath a bus a bus shelter for about 25 minutes till my bus came. Got off my bus stop, stood there for a few minutes to get myself ready and just ran all the way to my door. I didn't really get wet, I was a tiny bit damp but that's fine. My, my red jacket got wet on the lower part and my shoes and my socks got totally sewed. But luckily all my valuables in my backpack were fine. They didn't get wet or nothing. So I'm very happy with that. So now I believe that is just about everything. If I haven't mentioned anything that I should have, comment down below so that you can tell me that I should have said this or that. And of course I will mention it in another video if there will be another to mention on the subject. Subscribe if you're interested in following me, if you're interested in what I show on YouTube. It may not be as much or interesting, but at least I try. It's something I like to do, and I'm doing it for free. That's the best part. But thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, and I shall upload more random videos that I will see, like uh, Comic Con, Collectomania, or Yu Gi Oh! anime or the birds of prey that I've been filming outside in the hot summer sun. So I will see you all next time. And now, the pictures.